In this brief video, you will learn how to quickly create online flashcards by using a spreadsheet and a free flashcard application. Digital flashcards offer students a way to interact with content rather than simply read and memorize. Additionally, many online flashcard applications include mobile apps, enabling students to study on the go. While there are several good applications available, I have selected Brainscape for this presentation. Brainscape is free and includes both a desktop and mobile version for iPads and iPhones. With a little creativity, flashcards can be used for a number of categories in Bloom's Taxonomy, but they are primarily used for activities in the Remembering and Understanding categories. I suggest selecting a flashcard application that enables uploading a spreadsheet, which will keep your production time to a minimum. Use a program like Excel, Google Spreadsheets, or OpenOffice that allows you to save as a CSV file, which many flashcard applications require. In this video, I am using Microsoft Excel. As you can see, there are two columns. The first for the term or question the front of the flashcard, and the second for the definition or answer, the back of the flashcard. This is all you need. Save the file in a CSV format and you are ready to create your flashcards. As stated earlier, there are several online flashcard applications, but I selected Brainscape which has a free mobile app for iOS devices, iPhones and iPads. First, create your free account at Brainscape.com. Click on My Library. Click the Create link to create your flashcard subject. Click the menu arrow next to your subject and select Import CSV. Browse for your spreadsheet file, click Import these cards, and wait for the message stating that the upload was successful. That's it. Your flashcards are ready for use. Click on the menu arrow next to your subject and select Share Subject to obtain the URL for your cards and provide this to students. Students must also create a free account on Brainscape to access your cards on a computer or supported mobile device. One of my reasons for selecting Brainscape is that it has a mastery feature. After flipping the card over, the learner will click or use the keyboard to select his or her level of confidence, which determines when Brainscape will show the card again. This feature ensures that students will be presented those items which they have not yet mastered. For instance, if the student simply guessed the correct answer but selected 1 because they did not really know the content, they will be presented with the card again. That's all there is to using a spreadsheet to easily create digital flashcards, but there's a bonus. Did you know that you can use the same CSV file to upload a glossary to your course in Blackboard within seconds? To do so, navigate to Course Tools in the Control Panel. Click on the Glossary link. Under Upload Download, select Upload Glossary. Browse for your CSV file and select whether you want to add the terms to an existing glossary or replace the existing glossary. Click the Submit button and now you will see a course glossary. After importing the spreadsheet, you can add images, audio, and other content to the glossary entries. I suggest adding a direct menu link so students can easily access this tool. In summary, use flashcards primarily for remembering and understanding in Bloom's taxonomy. Create a spreadsheet with two columns, one for the question and one for the answer. 
Save the file as a CSV file. Import the file to Brainscape or your selected flashcard tool. Use the same CSV file to create a glossary in your Blackboard course if desired. This is a great way to repurpose your flashcard content. 